Okay, next uh, factor is change, changes in temperature. Eh? Alright, so this uh, only temperature can change the, the value of Kc or Kp. Okay, let's say this is a azothermic reaction. We know that release, heat is released. And the value of delta H changes in H is negative. Okay. And endothermic is equal to the heat absorbed, where the delta H value becomes the positive. So let's say I have this example here. The delta H value here is negative, which means the forward reaction, which means from the return to product, Okay, so the reaction is exothermic, where heat is released to the surrounding. Right, so if uh, the reverse reaction, reverse yeah, reaction become the endothermic, heat is absorbed. Okay, right, so let's say this is the disturbance. So we increase the temperature, okay, which means add more heat. Okay, system try to decrease the temperature. Decrease the temperature by absorb, absorb the heat. Uh, so there are so too many heat. Okay, so the system will absorb the heat. So that that is why endothermic reaction is favorable. Okay, system shift to the left. Okay, in order to undergo endothermic reaction. What will happen next? Okay, right, the concentration of Okay, concentration of the rectum, both rectum here, will increase. Okay, as the concentration of the product will decrease. So, because of that, the value of Kc will decrease. Okay, decrease. Okay, so Kc decrease because concentration of the rectum PCL5 decrease, whereas for the concentration PCL3 and Cl2, Increase. Alright, so next example. Okay, let's say uh, the disturbance here drop in temperature, which may remove the heat. Okay, so the system try to increase the heat by release more heat. Okay, so that is why the reaction is more favorable to the exothermic reaction. Shift to right in order to undergo exothermic reaction. What would happen next? Okay, right, shift to the right, which means the concentration of the product PCL5 will increase, whereas for the concentration of rectum will decrease. Okay, so that will affect the concent uh, the KC value become increase. Okay, so KC increase because concentration of the product increase. Whereas concentration of both rectum decrease. Okay, right. So this one eh, summary, keep in mind. Right. So first of all, we have to refer to the value of delta H here. Okay, if the return here is negative value, which means the forward reaction is exothermic. Okay. So which means heat is released to the surrounding. Heat is released to the surrounding. Okay. Right, so uh, heat is released by the system to the surrounding. Okay, it, for the reverse reaction is endothermic, uh, meaning that heat is absorbed by the system. Okay, we increase the temperature, so the reaction will move to the left side. Okay, move, and then the value of case uh, Kc will decrease. Okay, as the vice versa, decrease the temperature. So the net direction we proceed to the right and the value of Kc will increase. Okay, so temperature this decrease favors an exothermic reaction. Alright, so this is an example. Okay, first of all, you have to refer to the value of delta H. Right, so this is a positive value which means uh, the forward reaction is endothermic and the reverse reaction is exothermic. So let's say we have the disturbance here, the temperature is increased. Right, so the system try to decrease the temperature but absorb the excess of heat. 
So that's why the equilibrium will favor endothermic reaction and it will shift to the right. Uh, shift to the right and do it. Okay, therefore, what would happen? Shift to the right, the concentration of oxygen, the product, will increase. Concentration of the return will decrease. This causes the Kc value to increase. So, this is the effect. Eh? Kc increase because concentration of oxygen increase. Whereas concentration SO2 that is referred to the return decrease. Alright, next, uh, let's say I have this example. Okay, uh, the disturbance now uh, decrease, decrease or drop in temperature, which may remove heat. So, system try to increase the temperature by release more heat. So, release more heat means it favor exothermic reaction. And then the system will shift to the left. Okay, shift to the left. What will happen next? Shift to the left side. So the concentration of the product will decrease. Concentration of the rectangle will increase. And this will uh, affect the value of Kc to be decreased. Okay, Kc decrease because concentration of oxygen, which refer to the product, increase. Whereas concentration of the rectangle is or to increase. So this is, is the conclusion, right? So again, eh, so first refer to the delta H value. If the value is positive, which means the forward reaction is endothermic, okay, meaning that heat is absorbed okay, by the system. And the reverse reaction is exothermic. Okay, all right. So increase the temperature. So we'll make the net reaction to proceed to the right side and the value of K will increase. So decrease the temperature. So it will make the net reaction to proceed to the left side and the value of K will decrease. Okay, so temperature increase, favor and endothermic reaction. So we take a look at this uh, example here. Okay, this question. Okay, so predict the effect of decreasing the temperature. Okay, on the amount of product, amount of product in the following reaction. And then you have to explain. Okay, we take a look at the example here. Okay, sample answer. Okay, so when the temperature, first of all, please refer to the data H value, negative value, which means at the... But for the forward reaction is exothermic. Uh, negative value means forward exo. Okay, reverse is endothermic. Okay. So a uh, question here refer to the decreasing the temperature. Uh, decrease when decrease temperature, which may remove heat. So system try to increase the temperature by release. Release here means it favor exothermic. Okay, so it will shift to the right. Okay, alright, so amount of product will increase. The uh, question here is we focus on the amount of product. Uh, product will increase, which means the concentration of CH3, CHO gas will increase. Alright, next, B. So first, you must refer to delta H value, so negative value, which means forward reaction exothermic. Reverse reaction is endo and uh, disturbance temperature decrease or drop, which may remove heat. So, system try to release heat. So, it will favor exothermic reaction. Uh, exothermic reaction, which means shift to the right. So, shift to the right. What will happen to the product? Product will increase. Okay, product will increase. Alright, next, C. Okay, so C uh, does not give to you the delta H value, but it's giving to you the hint here, exothermic, which means forward reaction is exothermic, reverse reaction is endo, and the uh, disturbance is the same, temperature decrease, okay, temperature decrease by uh, removing the heat. So, system try to increase temperature by release heat, so it favor exothermic, exothermic, which means shift to the right. So, therefore, the product will 
increase. Uh, product will increase. Okay, C. So, this one also not given to you the value of delta H. However, it's given to you the clue here, endothermic, which means the forward reaction is endothermic. Reverse reaction is azo. Okay. So, therefore, the disturbance temperature uh, decrease. Alright. So, system try to increase the temperature by release more heat. So, which means it's fiber azotomic. So, shift to the left. Uh, azotomic here, left. Okay. What would happen? Uh, product will decrease.